Welcome back to Signalis. Let's continue exploring the mines, which feel like where everything started. By the way, it's been probably about a year since I recorded the last episode. <laughs> yeah. So if I've maybe forgotten some stuff, sorry about that. I do still feel like I remember the story and I refresh myself on where we were and I played for a couple minutes, not past this point, but just kind of like going back to where we were running around, shooting the gun, checking out the inventory, being like, oh yeah, right. We got that. We got this. We can do this. So I think I'm mostly back into it. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to take our pistol with 10 rounds in it and our flashlight with us. Free up the rest of our very limited inventory for picking up new things. But of course, this does leave me pretty, pretty ill prepared for anything strong. So might have to run back and grab my more powerful weaponry. Let's turn on my flashlight. So we don't have a map for this place, right? No. Oh, I love the look of our shadow unstretching and then stretching on the other side and oh, it's just so cool looking. I love the aesthetic of this game so much. Even the echo from that elevator, it echoed for a good, like, five seconds. Even though I can't see the vastness of this place, you can feel it and hear it. I mean, you can see it to a degree. This is just a walkway, and look how wide across it is. The sounds really sell it, though. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh. Oh, well. No, 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 no. No. I think they all had shields, even. Ooh. Um. I'm trying to remember how you take out the ones with shields. Actually, I don't even know if I've ever tried to take the ones with shields out. Have I? We have a shotgun, which can take out multiple at the same time, of normal enemies anyway, but I don't know about the ones with shields. We have the Magnum, which is super powerful, but there was, I think, three of them that I saw. There could be more further back in there. Okay, a couple things to try. I have a shotgun, and I have the flare gun. It says it incinerates targets. Is that going to insta-kill them, though? I wonder. I don't know. It only holds one flare at a time, of course, but I have three backup ones. And I also have a fully loaded shotgun, which may or may not do anything to them with their shields. Let's try the flare gun first. Maybe I should turn off the flashlight. I think that maybe gets their attention. I don't know if they're going to be just like right there where I left them or if they've gone back. Let's see. Okay, I think they've gone back. Oh, I saw a shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it has an X on it, which I think is because I have the shield on. Man, it doesn't really feel like much of a flare gun. It feels like a pistol. Uh, they're writhing around, so... They're obviously not straight up dead. 
Isn't there a kick or something? I don't know. Let's uh, equip the shotgun. Or maybe just take some time to fully die. Yeah, okay. Just take some time to die. They did all burn. Okay. Whew. I think I might have gotten a normal one in that batch, too. Which is kind of a waste of a flare, but... But yeah, alright. None, none of these are going to be coming back. That's probably all of them. For this room. Turn them on. I can't see a dang thing. Two ways to go. That way is accessible. So is this way. Somehow this door feels more final. I don't know, it just seems bigger. It seems it feels like the critical path. This one seems a little more out of the way. Let's explore it first. Looks like there's a notice there. Oh, I think that's a flare gun or flares. Yeah, what's that? Obviously, some sort of a warning. Monofil- Oh, right! Handle with care, risk of death. Alright, I vaguely remember this. It's probably the same warning that we saw before. But for me, that was like a year ago, so uh, I'm gonna read it again. Monofiber will effortlessly cut through limbs and equipment in an instant. Always wear protective clothing. Do not touch monofiber without proper protective gear. Only handle in brightly lit places. Yeah, so... The diameter, diameter is less than two nanometers on average. Yeah, no wonder that would cut through anything. Oh. Aww. Oh, it's a repair spray. Dang, not what I wanted. Oh! That is barbed wire and it hurts. Or maybe it's the monofiber filament. I don't know. How much did that hurt? Whoa, a fair amount! We're down to yellow. Shall I use the repair spray? Restores a large amount of health over time. I don't know if I need it if I'm just on yellow. Hi. Can I... Oh yeah, there we go. Star. Uh, hey, don't cry. It'll be over soon. Mm. Remember the time we went to the surface? The stars were so beautiful. I wish we could go there again. Hmm. Hey, listen. I'll let you in on a secret. I can remember my name. From my old life. Isn't that funny? Don't you want to know it? Here, I'll tell you. It'll be our secret, together. So you can stop crying, okay? This is heartbreaking. We'll be okay. Wherever it is I'm going, I'll wait for you there. Some pistol rounds. Oh, 
Oh, oh, there's something. Hold on, I'm going to turn off my light. There is something right there. Tall one? Oh, there's another one wandering around. I'm curious about that big red button. And also, I think those are s stairs I can climb? Stairs. <laughs> A ladder. Jesus Christ. Let's see if we can get close enough to it without it hearing me. Yes. I don't know if I want to press that, though. Let's first just see if I can go up here. Apparently not. I'm really scared if I press that button, they're all just going to wake up. Oh my god. Oh, that's really... That's, that's a big one. it or is it just nah that's just what it does All right that's one of the um what were they the midnas or something oh they're in the top left yeah it's the mina model okay i guess i just gotta press this yeah that did a thing yeah Oh, right. Right, that. Ah! <laughs> I was hoping I could move fast enough that it wouldn't. Yeah, let's drop down. It looks safe to slide down. Yep. Yes, yes, please. Go, go, go. Whoo! Hope they're not going to slide down with me. Looks like not. Now we probably need the healing. We're on a darker yellow. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the repair spray. That'll heal over time. Well, Jesus, the music is making me really uncomfortable. pillars why does this feel I don't know almost religious or something they definitely discovered something they shouldn't when they mined this place are we blue now yeah another repair spray they give me lots of healing down. I didn't like it anymore in Silent Hill 2. There's a huge hole in the ground. I can hear the sound of water from below. It looks like there's no other way. Let's go. here.
feel like we should go this way. For there be something sorts of death somewhere in the body remain something something some it vanisheth quite away with the spirit I think trying to say something about how sometimes the spirit uh, dies and that's a form of death even if the body is still there kind of like Perhaps the monsters we've been seeing everywhere, since they've been turned into those things, they're basically dead now, even though their bodies still remain. In one kind of death, the spirit also dies. Uh, something something. Shreds of paper everywhere. It calls me in a sea of flesh. We will become one, but I can never go back to being me. What a disgusting place, Jesus. Festering pool of water. Ooh. Are those alive? I don't think so. A lot of healing. So much healing that makes me very uncomfortable. Why do they think I might get hurt? Offerings. And in the darkness the dead shall be offered. A light and holy spices so that they may find a way out of this cursed place. A light and holy spices. Auto injector. I think I need to equip that and it'll get automatically used. If we would otherwise die. Yeah, let's equip that. Oh, I can only have one thing equipped though, right? So that means no flashlight. Never mind. What is that? That looks like a flesh wall. It's moving. It's glistening. Small cup filled with sand for placing offerings. Stands in front of the ancestral shrine. Ancestral tablets are lined up against the wall. The names are illegible due to where. Oh, there's a door here on the left. Yeah, I can't see that at all. I guess it's... I guess this cage is the hint. Because it seems to be around all the doors. Jesus Christ. Repair badge. No space. Anything I can toss... Or just use? I guess not. I don't know, can I... Combine the repair spray? I don't remember the recipes. What about it and uh, auto-injector? No? Okay. Not gonna happen then.
that unlocks from the other side. That opens. Oh, needs a passcode. Ah, oh, that feels really good just to press. Doesn't give me any feedback as far as like how many need to be pressed. So maybe all of them, or maybe they need to be pressed in a certain order. No idea. Hmm. That's magnum ammo, which I think is very valuable. That's a stun prod. Oh, shit. I don't want to go down even more. No. Warnings. This place... Uh, nothing valued is here. What is was dangerous and repulsive. Message is a warning about the danger is still present. Danger is disturbed this place. Shunned and left uninhabited. When something something within is killed, a path will open here. something is killed, a path will open here, so this will open at some point in the future. I want to come back there, but uh, I'm hoping uh, to find a save point, because I don't want to use my shotgun. Oh, I think underneath the floorboards, well they're not floorboards, underneath the floor is just like a mound of flesh. Do you see that undulating? It's very subtle. Safe point, yes. Doesn't feel very safe with the flesh beneath us. Leave, leave this place. I don't think I even can anymore. I don't think there's a way back up right now. Same keypad, but the symbol is different. Now I've got my pistol. Good for the weaker enemies. Let's take them out so I can properly explore this place. Doing on ammo. Ten shots left. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Let me guess. I can go down the flesh hole too. Drop down. No, I don't want to go down the flesh hole. That unlocks from the other side. Man, this place is really large. Do I still not have a map of this place? No. That looks like a bunch of eyes staring at me. Nitro Express Ammo? What is that? Large caliber PTFE coated high power armor piercing 16mm Nitro Express rifle ammunition. Packs a punch. Sounds like it. Okay, that might be great against the 
Creatures with shields or uh, minus? Minus? Same keypad. Old fashioned microphone is hooked up to the device. There's a strange device under the glass bell. It's hooked up to the microphone. Might be related to the radio. I can't actually use the keypad at the moment. What's this? Wedding ring. Whose? Old golden ring. The phrase, till death do us part, is inscribed on the inside. Not sure what I'm going to be doing with that. Is that an offering? What was the offerings again? It was a light and some sort of a spice. I don't think this would fit either. Shall we try the radio? Let's see if we can find anything. Let's start on the lowest frequency. Didn't hear anything. The pitch changes in a very musical way as you go up and down the frequency spectrum. Wait, did I see something for a second? The signal is just blinking. Oh, hey, that did do something. drawing an infinity symbol. Hold on, does this change? Depending on maybe the frequency that's coming through, that musical frequency? Let's see. So between like 65, it changes. Still the original. Now let's put it over. Now it's a different pitch. That looks the same. No, that's different. Okay, that's making like a sort of triangle-like thing. I think this can be used to deduce what the password is based on the shape, right? So each, <clears throat> each tone that comes out of the radio is showing me like what that looks like, like, what the shape of that is, and then maps it to what to press on the keypad to match that shape. So then when I see those panels that need passwords and they show a shape, I just need to match it. So I need to write these down. There we go. Got them all written down. Some of the shapes are surprisingly hard to parse, though, so might be some difficulty. We'll see. But even so, there's not that many. There's only uh, six of them. So even if I had to try literally every one, it wouldn't be difficult. from down below, right? I must have. The other doors don't open. Did I put my flashlight away? Hmm. 
Come on, let me see if I can unlock this. Uh, that's probably the one that I wrote down squiggles for because I literally couldn't tell what the shape was. If it is that one, then it's this. Yes. Nah, I don't like this. I'm gonna go back and get the flashlight. Marginally less creepy. Still a blanket of flesh beneath us. Empress's hand. Another one of these oddly, oddly put together things. It's like you read it from the right. On the first day she was crowned. On the longest day, nothing was done. On the next day, she was wed. On the last day, she took her life. That could be a clue to a puzzle that I haven't encountered yet. Oh yes, pistol ammo. Oh. I don't like this. Select an item to use. Okay, well, now that makes it clear what the wedding ring is for. I just don't like any of this. I guess... No, no, not that. I guess I just used the wedding ring? Oh, am I selecting an item to use on, like, each individual finger? <laughs> can I... <laughs> can I put the flashlight there? No. Can I take this? Yeah, let's pick that up. Will it actually let me put it on a different finger? Yeah, it does. Just so I don't have to carry it around, I guess I might as well put it on there for now. The day after the longest day, which would be this one. Let's go back upstairs. Explore this properly. Large wooden doll. I wonder what that's about. I'll inspect it in a second here. How did the stun broad work again? Do you need to equip it? Ah, yes. And then C to use it? No use, yeah, so can only use it if there's actually an enemy to use it on. I think I'd rather have the flashlight. 
Now, how about this? Large hollow wooden doll that can be opened. It has a hexagonal base. It's empty inside. Okay, that slots into something. 100%. Hexagonal base. I've heard these nesting dolls are a popular children's toy on Rotfront. I don't think I've encountered what that goes to... yet? Okay, I should know the password to this one now. The triangle thing, yes. Cross that one off so I won't reuse it. Oh. That one looks different from the others I've encountered. I'm going to turn off that light. Hmm. Hmm. I see four. There's at least four. Whatever that is in the center of the room that they're kind of just clustered around is important. I need to come back with something stronger than a pistol. Okay. Oh, where did you come from? Oh. Now I'm seriously doubting what I have. Uh, I came with a revolver and a shotgun. No extra ammo, though. Wait, why do I have a flare gun? I did not mean to take that. <laughs> it's empty. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna need a lot more ammo to take out the mina. Ooh. Do I want to come back here later? I don't even have any healing. Hmm. Maybe the revolver is really powerful? Like really, really, really powerful? Yeah, no, absolute disaster. Why can't I hit it? What does it have on its face? Or what is it? What is its face? Jesus. Fuck me. That was an absolute waste of ammo. Hell no, I am loading. Okay, try number two. Uh, still going with the same weapons, revolver and shotgun, but I'm taking extra ammo for them. I didn't realize that I had so much revolver ammo. I think I had like 20 something. I'm just taking 12 extra with me. Uh, I'm also bringing some healing. Let's equip the auto injector so I can use them on their own and they'll just instantly restore a large amount of health, but if they're equipped, they'll use automatically if I get down to the point of where I would have died. Now I just need to actually go for it. If I remember right, the Mina had some ability to kind of resurrect enemies, so I think I need to focus on the Mina, but of course it's a little bit hard when you're getting mobbed by other enemies. So we'll see. I think I had to wait till the Mina was like, coughing up blood and opened its visor to be able to actually shoot it. Otherwise, it's just so heavily armored, you can't hit it. So I need to wait for an opening. And then blast it right in the face. I cut 
could also just go to this room. I'm curious. What's... Oh, Jesus. No. No. There's enemies in here. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in here. Fuck this. I have no light on me. I'm not sure if I can get a shot on the Mina right now. If it's facing me. Possibly? Like, does it just have its visor open? I kind of doubt it. Let's see. No, it doesn't. It has a red X. Alright. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I didn't think it would actually just hit me. Oh, the pillar! It's broken! Come on. Oh, 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 I gotta get to it. I gotta get to it. No, fuck you. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm kind of trapped in here. Got a lot of them out of the way at least. Okay, I'm in the red. So maybe I want to use one of my auto-injectors. Just... I know it'll activate automatically, but I... Okay, I'll just let it activate automatically. I suppose that would be the most efficient. Doing on ammo. Okay, ads are gone for now. Oh, you hit, hit me through that? Did that do it? That actually did it. Whew. Whew. Okay, I'm just gonna use one of these. Ah, that makes me feel better. Um, I should come back with some thermite. Because I do not want the Mina coming back. Signal flare shells. Is that what they're regarding? I thought it would be a quest item. I mean, it's nice, but I don't know if it's worth all this. Oh, this I needed. Surprisingly heavy. Hmm. Probably has something in it. I wonder. I mean, if it's a nesting doll, I probably combine it with the other nesting dolls. Whoa. 208. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I'm not ready for that. Am I? Maybe I am. Oh, 
Okay, 208. going to. I gotta follow it. I gotta stay with it. It's gone up. There you are. This is where the hexagonal plated things go. What is this? This thing doesn't have a hexagonal plate, so it can't go anywhere, but the larger one did. I guess the smaller one goes in the larger one, and then the larger one goes in here. There might even be other sizes. This might be like a small, medium, and large doll. place? Surprised there isn't a save here. Feels like that sort of vibe. Alina's Diary number four. How long has it been that I'm down here? How did I get here? Where's this place and why am I here? My memory feels so blurry, as if I had always been here forever. Even my hair is slowly turning white. I remember my name and I remember my life. But I also remember a different name, and a different life, and it feels like the line between her and me is blurring the longer I stay here. Alina. Incense. That's the spice we need for an offering. Grenade gels? Whoa. Let's go free up my inventory and grab some... some flares. Let's see if we can combine the large wooden doll with the small one. Yeah! Okay, I guess there is no medium one. The small doll inside rattles around when I shake it. Oh, we already got one waking up. Jesus. Before anything... I'm equipping this. Do not want the Mina waking up. Uh, I think I can just ignore this one if it's the only one up. Oh right, that over there is the dark room. Let's not go there just yet. 
we have plenty to get over here. Let's get the key things first. Incense is the most important. No space for the repair spray. But it's not really that important. I have a lot of them. Which one would this go to? Triangles. Well, these both have triangles in them, but I guess this one's more of a triangle. <laughs> oh. Can't use this here. Are you meant to use things in these? Let's head to the dark room, now that I just cleared out my inventory. Okay, oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot in here. Okay, hold on. I did bring a shotgun. This is a creepy ass room. It is so dark even with the flashlight. What is this? Serpent ring. So are all the things going on the fingers going to be rings then? I was wondering like some of the other objects were like uh, they were crowned on the whatever day. I was thinking like how am I going to put a crown on a finger? <laughs> So maybe the, there's going to be different rings that kind of symbolize those different things. No ammo in the shotgun anymore. A smooth ring made from green jade fashioned to look like a snake biting its own tail. shotgun rounds. I think that's all that's in here. Yes. I've had a lot of wake-ups, by the way. Pretty much every room has at least one wake-up. So where does this leave me? I need to explore some new areas. Like, I don't think I have everything I need to unlock any one particular puzzle. I think there's just some more doors I need to try. Although it's hard to say precisely where those doors are, given that there's no map for this area still. You know, I think the next place to go is actually down the flesh hole. Let's go! Oh no. Oh Jesus, is this a boss? Fuck. I'm not prepared for this with my equipment, I just have a pistol and a shotgun with two rounds in it. Uh oh. Might as well turn my flashlight on. Maybe I'll make it have to squint real hard. Okay, two shotgun rounds, and if this doesn't do it, I have no defense. That missed. I have no defense. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, 
Let's try this again with a revolver. I think that's all my revolver ammo. I've just got five shotgun shots. This thing's tougher than I thought. I thought revolver... I thought the revolver was stronger than it actually is, I guess. Oh. Oh, no. I don't want to get near it. Shit. That's it. Oh, man. I don't think there's a melee, is there? Look at the controls up here. No, there's like a stomp, but that's just... If an enemy's already downed, it gives you like a prompt to stomp. It's not like an attack, per se. Did they just... Did they just kill it? I think they uh, shot it and it kind of just like knocked him out with the kickback from the gun. She won't wake up. The rifle Issa was carrying. It's chambered in some sort of ridiculous anti-armor cartridge. Yeah, I imagine that stuff would have a hell of a kickback. No wonder the recoil knocked her out. Pistol rounds. That one. Uh, that was not what I expected it to be. My drawing of it was not even close to accurate. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore out from here. And I guess eventually find a way back up out of the flesh hole we jumped down because we certainly need to get back up there.